What is up guys? My name is Ebenezer Frimpong and welcome back to another fantastic video. Now in this video, I'm actually going to discuss the differences between two really great bidding strategies for Google Shopping, maximize clicks versus manual CPC. And the reason why I'm going to be discussing this is because I've gotten a lot of messages of people asking why I prefer maximize clicks over manual CPC. Because a lot of you guys who watch my channel also watch Marco's channel and Marco prefers manual CPC over maximize clicks when you're first getting started. So I thought this would be an interesting video to put together and you guys would probably enjoy it. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and get started. Maximize clicks is an automated bidding strategy. You're telling Google to go out there, learn and optimize for you. You don't have to worry about managing your CPCs yourself. I don't know if you guys have seen that SpongeBob episode where Squidward tells SpongeBob to forget every single thing he knows except for fine dining and breathing. Well, that's sort of the same thing that we're doing here. We're telling Google to forget every single thing it knows except for clicks. And Google will do its best to go out there and get us as many clicks as possible within our budget. Which leads into our next point. Since Google's entire focus is to get us as many clicks as possible, you can drive traffic insanely fast to your Shopify store. Which is good news for you, especially when you're running a Google Shopping campaign, because it's going to bring you data very quickly that you can use to optimize yourself later on. And with maximized clicks, you can quickly determine your real average CPC. So for example, if you're using Keywords Everywhere or maybe Google's Keyword Planner, both of those tools will give you average CPCs for keywords. So both of them might say, okay, for this particular keyword, your average CPC is going to be around $1.50 to $2. Well, with maximized clicks, you can quickly find out that your actual CPC for that same keyword that both tools told you was going to be around $1.50 to $2 might end up being $0.63, cents, $0.75, cents, $0.80, cents, which is your real average cost per click. And you wouldn't necessarily get that data if you used a different bidding strategy. And since Maximize Clicks focuses on bringing you traffic very quickly, you'll be able to eliminate search terms fast. You'll be able to make them negative keywords very quickly. So Google is bringing you clicks at an accelerated rate. So if you pay attention to your search terms, you'll be able to eliminate all of those irrelevant searches, all those search terms that are not relevant to your products or any product in your shopping feed, you'll be able to get rid of those quickly. So when you switch to a new bidding strategy, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about getting useless and worthless traffic. And when you start a campaign that maximize clicks, in my personal experience, you get conversions much faster. Now I'm not saying profitable conversions, typically you're going to break even here, but those conversions will count towards a new bidding strategy such as enhanced CPC or maximize conversions. So Google will have that data to say, oh, okay, all of the people who are converting on your store have these things in common. So when you switch to a bidding strategy like maximize conversions or enhanced cost per click, Google will know, okay, this person who's searching this is more likely to convert. So let's go ahead and bid higher to get that click so we can bring that customer to your store because we know they have a higher chance of converting. So maximize clicks is great for getting those early conversions and using that to optimize with different bidding strategies later. But one tip with maximize clicks, you always, always, always want to set a max CPC limit. When you create your campaign and set it to maximize clicks, Google will ask you, what CPC do you want to cap this campaign off at? Which I usually start with a dollar. The reason being is if you leave that max CPC limit blank, Google can go ahead and bid an outrageous amount for a very cheap keyword. Google can actually go out there and bid $6 for a keyword that's probably worth maybe $2. You don't want that to happen. So setting a max CPC limit basically is like a life vest and will save you from losing a ton of money. 
Now, before I move on to manual CPC, I actually have a surprise for you guys. A surprise giveaway. So there's four Amazon e-gift card codes here. The first four people to claim them, it's all yours. I wanna give a mini shout out to my little brother, Emmanuel. He's 12 years old and he's a huge Rice Gum fan. And if you guys don't know who Rice Gum is, he's a very big YouTuber that has over 10 million subscribers. My brother was watching one of his videos and in that video, he had pop-ups of Amazon e-gift card codes for his subscribers. So my brother suggested that I do the same thing for my channel. And I've actually talked about doing this on a live stream a while ago. This is something I'm going to be doing a lot more often. It's not always gonna be an Amazon e-gift card. It could be an iPhone. It could be a consultation giveaway. It could be me building your Shopify store for you. It could be a lot of different things. Now, of course, I'm not gonna do it in every single video, but the people who are gonna get these giveaways are going to be the people who have my notification bells on. So I definitely suggest that you guys turn that on. These gift cards will also be in the description below. Once I delete them from the description, that means all four of these gift cards have been claimed. So this is something fun and interesting that I wanted to try out, and there's many more to come. And it's just to show my appreciation of you guys for getting me here. I have over 2,000 subscribers at the time of this video, and that couldn't be possible without you. So thank you guys again, and now let's move on to Manual CPC. Manual CPC stands for Manual Cost Per Click, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You manually set your cost per click. This gives you much more control over your CPC, but you have to understand that you're completely alone. Google is not automatically going to adjust your bid to bring you as many clicks as possible. Google will try its very best to stay at the CPC that you set. Now, the problem I have with manual CPC is that the budget can hinder you. So for example, the bid that you set as your CPC may be too low for you to spend your daily budget. So now you're having trouble spending your entire budget and not bringing as much traffic as you could be getting. So here it's gonna take you a little bit longer to find your sweet spot when it comes to your CPC. And with manual CPC, Google will optimize, but at a much slower pace because most of the time as a beginner, you're not gonna set your bid correctly from the get-go. So you're gonna have to make a lot of adjustments, which is okay, but Google is not gonna learn as fast as with maximized clicks. Now let's say you started with maximized clicks, collected data, and then moved into manual CPC because you wanted more control over your cost per click. With that strategy, manual CPC is going to bring in higher quality traffic because you've already optimized and tweaked your shopping feed and optimized your campaign during that maximized click phase. So those are really the key differences when it comes to maximized clicks and manual CPC. Now for me personally, if I'm doing an AliExpress or a low ticket store, I like to start with maximized clicks. But if I'm running traffic for a high ticket store, I like to start with manual CPC. And the reason why is because with low ticket, my product has a very short life cycle. I need to get clicks very quickly and optimize. Versus high ticket, here I wanna take my time and have control over my CPC and adjust it as needed. So that's really it for this video and I hope you guys have a better understanding of maximized clicks and manual CPC. Before I end this video, I actually wanna go ahead and show you guys where you're gonna enter those Amazon e-gift card codes. All you have to do is go to Amazon and then and as you guys can see, I actually placed the orders for the gift cards today, September 16th. But all you have to do is go to your Amazon account, go to your account, and then go to gift cards, and then redeem a gift card, and type in your codes in here, and then hit apply to your balance, and you will be able to spend that $25 with any product that you buy on Amazon. It's very simple. But that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to turn on my notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.